What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with a new episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. I believe this is season two, episode 20. I am insanely nervous after what happened last. Oh, don't even get me started. I'm not going to talk about it. That was that's in the past. Ugh, we're not going to talk about it. Before we get into anything, I do have a couple of Q&A questions. If you guys don't know, I have a section on the Discord where you guys can ask me questions and I'll answer them before the episode of which they pertain to. Um, so I appreciate all the questions. Let's hop right into them. All right, so the first one comes from Quagmire, a consistent question asker. Thank you so much, my friend. He says, Yuji was a little happy when he realized Nobara was still with him. But now that Nobara is gone and Yuji is alone again, who do you think is the right person to come and fight alongside with Yuji now? Also, who do you think has the most influential, who do you think was the most influential person in teaching Yuji? Gojo, Nanami, or Toto? Great question. I'll tell you what I think is going to happen and then what I want to happen. I want, I want Yuta to come back so bad. Yuta has been one of my favorite characters since Zero. I've loved him so much and I want him to do some work because I love that boy so much. But what do I think is going to happen? There's a reason that I'm wearing this guy today. Technically, I don't know because I'm not spoiled at all, but I do know that we see him in the opening. And so I am praying that some boogie woogie happens today, but that's what I would have to assume. And in terms of the most influential on Yuji, I have two answers for that. It is a little unique. It's weird to say, but I don't actually think it's Gojo. I think in terms of personality wise and being a Jujutsu sorcerer, I think Nanami has had the most influence on him in terms of powering up and in terms of fighting. I think Toto during the Kyoto Tokyo school v school last season easily gave him the most exponential power boost when he started doing black flashes like crazy and he finally learned how to cycle his, his cursed energy like mm, toto power wise nanami personality wise both goats great question though great question this question comes from xeno the wise uh the reaction community pretty much went nuclear in regards to what happened with nobara but i asked a, uh, a couple of weeks ago what you thought of the dark overtones of jjk but this time i want to expound on that a little bit deeper chainsaw man attack on titan and jjk are modern anime with a huge focus on more mature high stakes plot line I'm of the opinion that Akame got killed. I have not seen it. Love it or hate it. Adversely affected how the anime community at large reacts to character deaths. Yet somehow Attack on Titan holds the spot of one of the most beloved stories ever told uh, through the theme, uh, though the themes are extremely similar. JJK is considered heavily to be a more mature telling of Bleach. So I'm curious, do you think the more mature stories are a result of the medium changing completely? Or the fact that these stories have always existed, but anime fans are growing up, thus putting the darker series in the spotlight more? Great questions. Great question. Very great question. I want to lean more towards the second versus instead of the medium changing completely, I want to assume it's due to the anime fans that we all because there's generations of anime fans. You know, there's the OG heads who grew up on Akira, Ghost in the Shell, Fist of the North Star, Berserk, Dragon Ball. And then when they grew up, they had their own transitions of going from the young stuff to the old stuff, which a lot more mature there was definitely the mature and dark stuff back in the day but i do think that this current generation is going through that phase as of right now we all grew up with the narutos with the zatch bells with the bobo 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 bows the pokemons but now we're getting into we're all entering adulthood we all see how fucked reality actually is and so it kind of expands into the media we consume a little bit more that's a great question i would assume it has to do more with the second that's a great that, that could be a whole like hour-long debate topic right there uh we have one minute left perfect timing last question from simlinth uh do you think yuji's left and right technique will be enough for mahito and future enemies or does he need some innate technique or domain also yuji seems to need some other ally like toto kugisaki or gojo to fight strong opponents do you think he'll be able to hold his own later down the series thanks for the reactions and answering the questions great question I don't think eventually his left right is going to be enough. I think eventually he is going to need a technique. When it comes to Yuji, I have no idea what that could be. I have a feeling just in my head that it's going to be something tied to his bloodline or his personality because we still don't know who his parents are. We still don't know where he comes from, this, that, or the third. There's a lot of questions left unanswered that I think when we explore into that, we're going to get some new uh, horizons for Yuji. But that is, that is, a, that is a hard one. I do think he's going to be able to handle his own later, but I don't know how they're going to do it. That's what I'm curious. That's what I'm here on the ride for. I'm loving it, though. I'm loving it. Right and wrong, part three. This is how we're starting. We're starting with Nobara's blood hitting Yuji's face. 
an interesting time to have a flashback. She's trying to divide blame. Yeah, not even close. <laughs> That's hilarious. That made it look way worse. Is it stuffed in his shirt? Oh. Don't, don't, do not, oh, oh my god, why, you, like, what's the purpose, oh my god, from the POV of her eye hole, are you kidding me? He doesn't even have a second to grieve. Mahito, you are indeed. Mahito can hit a black flash. That's how in the zone he is right now. I've, I've watched some videos about that. I... I don't want to talk about, I don't want to go too in depth, but I just, I love the mirrorization of Yuji and Mahito where they both don't necessarily have the truest or sincerest motivations for what they're doing. Yuji just thinks everything he's doing is innately good. He wants to do good. Mahito wants to do everything bad. Just like it's innate in their personality. So they are exact rep reflections of each other. Just as I kill people without a second thought, you save people without a second thought. I love it. I love it. I hate it, and I love it. I hate it, I love it. I'm... I just want to know how we find happiness after this arc. That's kind of... That's kind of a bar for Mahito's side. Same way you could care less about the amount of curses you killed, you know? Those are his people, you know? I heard a clap! I heard a clap. <laughs> With the music. <laughs> the solid trees. Come on. <laughs> Bro, I can't breathe right now. <laughs> I feel so bad for my brother, man. <laughs> brother. Best of friend, though. Oh, that's, that's gotta be Nita's brother. They look alike, and his uh, name is Nita. I assume we just call him Nita because that's her last name. So Gojo's not here anymore? I just watched somebody switch gears. I loved it. Hey, you'll 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 learn soon. You'll learn soon, Nita, bro, bro, Nita. That's quite the sight to wake up to. He's a broken man. I can't blame him. Oh my god. I can't blame Yuji in the slightest. There's not a soul that I know that would not be like this in a situation, if you're as empathetic as he is, you know? He's literally in the fetal position. What I thought was my conviction, that's what hurts him the most. That's what ended up, in his mind, causing so much of this. I'm more mad that Mahito is just loving this right now. I feel so bad for my man. See? Swapped with Nita, so he's behind him. He's just so good with his ability. I love it. Oh my god. Swapped again. Oh! Oh! Boogie woogie. They're, they'll live on through us. I love that. I love that. This is the life we live. Damn, my man is spitting right now. 
出すことは時に死者への冒涜となるそれでもジャケットが got taken off。Yes. Ponder on that. Ponder on it. I love this. This is fucking beautiful. Oh my god. That is the one punishment imposed. And you, I love this so much right now. Toto is such W mans. Okay, Nita, what are you doing? What is your technique? They're not healed, but they're stationary. Okay. So your current wounds. Any ones that you gain right now are, yeah. Alright, thank you, Nita. That's actually a handy ass technique. So if she happened to be alive, she would be stationary and would still be alive. Oh. Isn't zero. That's all I need. That's all I need. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I need. I won't. I, I'll take a one percenter, man. One percent's happen every day. I'm just ready. I'm ready. It's not even funny. Great kick. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Ooh. I love how fluid this looks. We don't even have Yuji helping us right now. Oh, barbed wire. <laughs> what is he swapping with right now? He even loves a black flash. I hate that. Metamorphosis? Oh, hell no. Did we get a black flash? I've been waiting 20 fucking episodes for a black flash. And to be thinking about... Oh my god. To be thinking about Nanami 2? That one was for you, my man. That was for you. Sometimes I made me cry again, man. That was for my boy. Oh my god. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Nakamaru still has a disc? Yes. I do love Miwa. I don't I don't think she'd be able to do much right now. I love her. This is a beautiful shot. They are a great tag team. Absolutely not, but <sighs> he just cares about you too much. None of them could come. Wow. He cares about you guys too much. Oh, man. He's talking to that girl right now. As, coming from a dead Muta, this actually does kind of hit. I do hope you get to live on, Miwa. I'm glad he made the decision to, to not have you involved, because I'll be honest. You probably wouldn't be here anymore. Shout out, Mechamaru. Is this the end of his cursed energy he had reserved? Oh, that's beautiful. I'm way too emotional of a man. That was a beautiful shot. R.I.P. Muta. We may have had our disagreements, but you were a good man. That's rough. That is rough. Whew. He's got transfigured weapons. Oh my god. 
I love seeing Boogie Woogie in action. Breaking down floors. And he's cloned out again. Which one's the real one we have to discover? Great. Oh my god. He's just switching places with rocks. I love Boogie Woogie. Oh my god. This is the ultimate tag team, bro. This is a shot right here. It's like we're in Tekken. And you break and you go to another stage. You break the wall, you know? Mortal Kombat type shit. Okay, Transfigured Train. Like, he's so broken in his power. That's such a fire way to visualize it, though. And then he separates them. That's not what we want at all. Just horrible. Just horrible. They're both just so fast and so good. Ooh, great catch. Oh my god, that was such a great switch. Always have ammo to be able to switch with, and he's going to throw that like a bullet. I love this song when they play it. Bro, the people at Mappa are gods. What is going on? Because that's how fast he's going. Oh my god. That was one of the best animated sequences of this season, of this year. No, that episode's not already over. No, there's no way. That was 30 seconds. That was the coolest thing. <laughs> I gotta go back and watch that again. That was insane. All done with their metamorphosis. We're back on street level? With the music, this is hitting. <laughs> oh, bro, that episode was five minutes long. I swear on everything I love. Oh my God. I'm looking you dead in the eyes. Any animator who worked on a single piece of Sakuga, a single frame of the season, I'm pretty sure I can speak for millions when I say, just thank you guys like same way Yuji and all of them deserve an entire season of rest after this arc you guys deserve 17 years of like I like thank you like this I don't know what to say just was how much of an emotional roller coaster this episode was I hitting the lowest of the lows I'm hitting the highest of the highs and everything damn near in between Oh, I knew it would be perfect that I wore this. It fits so thematically. Shout out my boy Toto. I love not only obviously him. I love his words. I love the way his attitude. I love how he comes in everything. We are the exception. Oh, Yuji absolutely needed that. I loved the speech he had in terms of the life you enter as a Jujutsu sorcerer. And as long as you keep pushing forward, your 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 comrades never truly die. That literally makes me feel on some AOT shit. That shit hit me. Especially with who he's thinking of not. Oh. Oh, that shit. That shit is. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, gay, gay. When I catch you, gay. Like, sometimes I'm like, gay, gay. You're amazing. Gay. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Uh, Overall, 10 out of 10 episode, 10 out of 10 season. I don't know what to say. I'm flabbergasted. I know. And it's so crazy to say that. I could totally see next episode being equally, if not even crazier, just because, bro, Shibuya is going to go down as one of the arcs in anime history. I just flabbergasted. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. You guys know, next week, next Thursday, 
hop into the Twitch. I'll be here. You guys know how to do. Uh, all right, YouTube gang, uh, check out that Patreon early access. Drink some water. Tell someone you love them, especially after these episodes. Uh, peace out.